What's cooking to me? Well, I traveled a lot, so I, uh, I got to see different cultures and food always kind of permeates different cultures. Obviously, people have to eat. Uh, and the colors, the different ways of looking at food, and that's, that's, that's the thing that I could bring in. All those different cultures, all those different ways of looking at things I find very, very, very interesting. My name is Warren Wood and my passion is cooking. I, uh, I, I actually didn't want to uh, cook. I wanted to work in horticulture so I applied for some jobs in uh, gardening centres and things like that. I can't quite remember which ones but I, uh, at the same time I applied for a, uh, a job in a restaurant and I got the restaurant job but I didn't get any of the horticulture ones so that's how I started in this job. When I was younger, I decided I didn't want to stay in New Zealand and I wanted to travel around and see the world, or see part of the world. Uh, and it was almost on a whim. So I think I left the country when I was... I ended up staying away about almost 10 years, I think. I left the country when I was 21, I think. And I had $300. After I paid for the plane fare, so I landed in Australia with $300 and then worked and travelled and worked and travelled and did that for 10 years. When I first left Australia, I then went to Timor and worked my way right up through Indonesia, right up Malaysia, up to Thailand. When I was in Japan, uh, I climbed Mount Fuji. And when you got to the top, it was incredible. But along the way, you had little wooden huts and walk, in, walk inside and they would have a room twice this size with a big hole in the middle of the floor and you sit down on the mat hole in the middle of the floor a fire underneath it and then a big cauldron about the size of this this kind of round strut hanging from the roof struts on iron ch chains big cauldron and a fire underneath it and then they'd serve you soup and noodles with a little bit of pork in it Food started off when I was in home in New Zealand. It was learning techniques, so it was just a learning. I was just learning. I was learning to work with something, almost like machinery, the skills I needed to make that stuff work. But I guess when I travel, I started to see all that stuff in its context. Some of the food that I learned how to cook was perhaps French or English. And there were some traditions behind it, but they, they really didn't, they didn't, they didn't strike me. They didn't, I didn't feel them were within. They were just something that I had to learn to do. But when I traveled, I saw food in its context and the places that it was actually being cooked by people using ingredients around them. And that has huge impact.